So uh, welcome back to this video. Um, right. So today, what we're going to be talking about is and learning about is um, variables. So um, variables are basically when you assign um, a value to um, something. So instead of me writing um, this is a test and uh, say I wanted to uh, copy and paste this uh, string over and over and over again so all I'd have to do, I will, if I wanted to do that normally I could just hold this and say I made a mistake so uh, if I made a mistake then I made this mistake well hundreds of times basically but say I had have used a variable okay so let's just get rid of this a variable is when you assign um, to uh, basically like in maths you would um, in algebra you could say x equals 5 y equals 6 um, x plus y equals 11 basically that's sort of what variables are it's like algebra kind of so if I was to actually create a variable, the first thing I need to do is de um, declare or I'll declare a variable. But there's no command for declaring a variable in PHP. So um, variables in PHP start with the dollar sign. And then after the dollar sign, you just the the do the, do uh, the dollar sign um, is followed uh, after the dollar sign you follow it with whatever the name of the variable is so I could basically just write var uh, create a variable called x then you put space equals so uh, as you've seen in the other videos the find for Ends series the equals operator just um, well I should explain this actually so in PHP when you just say equals one uh, one equals sign it's assigning the, var the value to something else so that's why in a variable you would say x equals um, 5 maybe because you're assigning the value 5 to the variable x but say you wanted to you were trying to uh, compare something so if you created an if statement like you might have seen in the find friends series I have sometimes used 2 equals 2 equals means you're um, comparing two things so saying if something is another uh, then do something or or um, and one equals is assigning a ver um, assigning a value, and a variable must begin with a letter in the variable name. There's no, you can call a variable whatever you want, so you could call it whatever. That's still a valid variable, but you can you can't just say variable one equals five because you, it just doesn't work. So a variable must start with an x or an underscore character. So it could say x or underscore x. So that's a valid variable. And then if I just echoed x underscore x, that works. Or if I just change this to underscore x, underscore x, that still works. It's a valid variable. So um just to keep things simple i'm just gonna say x so i uh, you might know that uh, i didn't use any speech marks on the variable because basically if a variable is a number you don't put any spaces so it can make whatever number or and what am i saying you don't use any spaces you don't use the um speech marks but, oh, that's because a speech mark basically means a string. So if I was creating a string of text, if I was, this, if I was to write that and I got rid of the um, um, quotation marks or speech marks and I hit enter, I get an error because that's not a valid way to write a variable or to write anything. So I couldn't even do that with if I was to write 
acro and then I just wrote a bunch of text. It wouldn't work. So um, when you're writing a string in a variable, you have to use the quotation marks or uh, speech marks or quotation marks. As with echo, you can also you can use either that or uh, two single quotes. And it'll still work. So um, variable names are also case sensitive. So if I was to say um, x and it's a lowercase x and then I was to say another variable called x and it was an uppercase x. Uh, these two variables are different, so if I was to echo x, x, and I was to also echo x, now I will get 0, 1, because they're two different variables. So, um, as I said in the last one, you can just comment it out. So the uppercase x equals 1, so if I echoed it, I get 1, and if I echo the lowercase x, now I get zero because that's the two values I've given it. So uh, variables are also um, can the variable can also only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores. So for example, you couldn't say in a variable you couldn't put the at sign and then uh, all this rubbish. You couldn't say that. It has to be. Um, a letter, uh, can, a variable can only be either a letter, an uppercase letter, um, a number like a zero or whatever, or, or underscores. So that's basically all you can put in a variable. So uh, as I said earlier, if I, why would you want to use a variable? So say I was trying to Say I want I had a big string, so if I echoed a big long string and I called x the name of the variable, I can just say this is oh actually yeah. So I'll deliberately spell this wrong and I'll say this is a test. And I will echo and as, as, now as you might have also realized when you're echoing a variable, you can put the variable name in between the quotation or the uh, speech marks, or you could just remove the speech marks altogether and just echo the variable like that. Or you can use single quotes, except with single quotes, it's a bit different. You just you have to say the single quote and then you say another single quote, space, full stop, space. Then you say it, you have to do the same on the other side, so space, full stop, space, quotation mark. And that will work. This is a test, but if I was just to echo uh, uh, dollar sign x, that's exactly what we'll get. Dollar sign x. Just put this back. So you just need to be careful about that. So for the minute, I'm just going to put it in quotation or speech mark and if I echo that we get the value x so say I copy and paste this loads and loads and loads of times so I get this as a test over and over and over and over again and as, as you can see I spelled this wrong and I did it loads and loads of times. So if I hadn't created a variable and I just created a string, then I would have to go around individually and click that, put the i in, find it again, put another i in, and that's just not an efficient way to do anything. So if, if I made a mistake, all I do is put, um, correct it once. And since I've assigned it to a variable and I've just echoed the variable loads of times, I hit enter and it, it fixes it for all of them. So that's not it's sort of why you might want to use a variable. Um another reason you might want uh to use a variable is sort of um like well actually I can't really think of any off the top of my head, but there's plenty of reasons where you would use a variable instead okay. Actually Say you had a script and you don't worry, you don't need to understand what this means. 
if you've watched the Find Friends series up to the current part, you'll know what this means, maybe. So, say I had that session user login, which doesn't matter what it means. And, um, say I had, I wanted to use it loads of times on the page, so I used it here, and I had some code down here, and I used it, and then I had more code here, and I used it. And say, as again, I spelt it wrong, and it was meant to be session, just username. Then if I used it 10 times on a page, I'd have to go up, and I'd have to change this, and then change this. And I'd have to do that as many times as, I, as I'd used the variable that made the mistake. Or oh, not the variable, the um, string. Well, this isn't a string, but whatever. So, to fix that and to keep things easy and simple, all I do is, yeah, I can just say user and I could assign it to this code here. So then, now I could just say user. And if I had it somewhere down the page, I would say user. I go further down the page and use it again. And it just makes things a lot easier and simpler. So, um, variables don't need the um, space between the equals. I mean, you could just say this is x, and you won't. You don't need the space. It's just personal preference, you can put the space in or leave it out, it doesn't matter. So, um, that's basically it for this video. So if you liked the video, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and like it. Uh, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.